Hey guys, this is another pick a card reading. This is a message from your spirit animal. So choose from either piles one, two or three. If you feel drawn to more than one pile, feel free to watch more than one. Um, please like, share and subscribe. Remember to turn the bell on to be notified every time I upload. If you would like to leave me a donation or if you would like to contact me for any of my other services, such as distant Reiki healing, tarot uh, readings and intuitive life coaching, all my contact information will be down in the description box and the comments section. Let's get started with group one. So group one, these are your spirit animal messages. So right now your spirit animals are the falcon, the crab and the ant. Um, so you can look up the the spiritual meanings of those animals. What you may also find is you start to see them um, in images, in dreams. Um, you might just come across them um, and they're all messengers for you. So pay t uh, attention to the signs. I've just seen 111 on the clock as well. Um, so you can look up the angel number of that for additional meanings. So we have the falcon. So the falcon, so seeker of feathers. So first off, what I'm getting is there is a need to look at things from a higher perspective. There's a need to get um, your mind clear. And when your mind is clear, you're going to be able to see things from a different perspective. Um, it's like as we see this falcon fly, it loses a wing. So you might have had to lose something to gain something. But actually, whatever you've lost wasn't really... For your highest good anyway in the long run um so there i'm also seeing a need to um communicate you're going to receive communication or there's a need to communicate but communicate from like a higher level of awareness communicate from your heart not from a place of um you know animosity or pain or anger um because if you are dealing with a particular situation that will just kind of impact the situation in in a way that you don't really want um, so look at things from a higher perspective. Um, I'm, I'm also hearing for this as well, um, writing. So any sort of writing, getting a piece of paper and write on that piece of paper what it is that you want to say, um, what it is that you need to say or what, what you want to get out. So for this group what I'm hearing is if you've been holding on to something um, or repressing something or if you've been wanting to say something to someone but you know it isn't going to go down very well, write it out on a piece of paper um, and then what you may then find is that anger or that pain or, or whatever you are feeling, that dense energy is then able to be released because you've written it down um, and then you may not feel the need to speak to this person or this situation. Um, obviously it's going to be different for all of you, some some of you the communication coming in is going to be good, for some of you it the communication coming in could be something to do with the past that needs to be released and let go of like this um, feather. You might also start to notice feathers like the particular colours, you might find feathers that are unusual um, like such as a falcon feather depending on where you know you live um, or crow feathers, start seeing black feathers, stuff like that, uh, turkey feathers I'm also picking up but yeah letter writing would be very very healing for this group. If um, you have difficulties with writing then literally just using the notes on your phone or your laptop and just type out kind of whatever's in your mind whatever you need to kind of release and let go of then we have the crab um so <laughs> crabs um like they remind me of they've got a harder exterior right they they've got a harder shell a harder exterior but inside they're all soft and gooey so i feel like for this group you might sometimes present in a way that is hard for people to understand or even hard for yourself to understand. You might, um, I think for some of you, you might take the fault of others. I think for some of you, you might be too giving to others. And I think for some of you, over time, you've kind of built up this uh, protection shield around yourself and your heart. And actually there's a need to kind of um, break free of that and, and, and open up. Um, be like the, the inner insides of a, of a crab and you know be soft and with softness becomes freeness and you know when you have a softer heart when you are softer in your speech when you are softer to yourself and others um, you will see that things within your life will begin to shift and will begin to transform and will begin to get better um, 
So it says here, uh, purple may also be a key colour for you guys. So wearing purple, um, painting with purple, eating purple foods. Also purple um, is like the higher chakra colours. So like the third eye and the crown, a little bit mixed. Um, so for some of you, you might want to work on your third eye more, so your perception um, and your higher chakra. If you have been suffering with headaches, drink more water and also spend time grounding yourself just to get rooted and that should address um, any sort of imbalances you may have been having at this time, uh, obviously depending on what's causing it. So it says take a firm grip and hold on, you can do it. So guys, whatever you're going through in this group or whatever you've been through, just hold on because you're, it's like you're at, you're at the finish line but you're not quite through. Um, so just, just don't give up. Then we have the Anne and to be honest, this is a really beautiful card. So first off, what I'm hearing for this group is there are people around you, there is a team or an organisation or friendship or there are people you can reach out to that can help you. It's like we see here that um, the ants, they're working in unison, yeah? Ants are kind of like pack animals. Like I always see in nature programmes, they're like, they work together and move things together and they can build really big colonies, co colon, colony, oh I can't say the word, um, and they can build like really big things. So I like, feel like for you guys, if you work with others or if you reach out to others, you're going to be able to build a lot more within your life and within yourself and within your self-esteem. Um, so it says, and cooperate with the highest good of the community. Um, Archangel whatever that says <laughs> you can google that name if you want I, I don't know how to pronounce that um but basically yeah for this group working with your community whoever your community is to you this could be friends family your higher self your you know spirit guides um new people that you connect with anything like that anyone that you feel like you can trust and can find in those will be your people right now that you can go to for assistance and help so not only that we have um this symbol here so sacred geometry is going to be very key for this group so you can work with sacred geometry such as this symbol you can draw it um you can take a photo of it um and if you just put that up on you know put that on your phone um put that up on your wall, sleep with a picture of it under your bed, just look at the picture. Um, it will help you to kind of access things within yourself and to be be more open and more freer. Um, so it's called the Metatron's Cube. Um, and basically what is happening right now for this group is through working with this energy, I feel like you're going to attract in higher energies and um, like higher ascended people, people that are of a different kind of frequency to your past. Um, but obviously, as you go through this, depending on where you are on your journey, you have to let go of the past. You have to let go of that stuck, sticky energy, those, those, those people, those situations that are holding you back. You have to let it go in order to move forward because you can't move into a new ascension. You can't new, move into a new kind of way of being if you're still attached to the past. Um, again, letter, letter writing, write into, even write into yourself, write into your past self, you know, or write into an aspect of yourself doing parts work and um, write into those certain aspects of yourself that are hurt and, you know, just be the person that you need at the time and that you need at this time rather. Um, but yeah, guys, just whatever you're going through or whatever you've been through, just hold on and know that things will get better in time. I just that I think there's a lot of patience that this group needs to be aware of. You need to be patient with yourself, patient with this transition, patient with um, the timing of things as well. Don't try and force things before they're ready, and also don't try and force yourself into things that you're not able to commit to yet. Um, and you know, just be a little bit more compassionate towards yourself and your heart because I feel like for this group, you might have had some. There's some sort of wounding going on within the heart. Uh, within the heart chakra like with all of this pink here yeah it reminds me of the heart chakra and uh, oh and the pink here and there's like kind of pink here there's a lot of pink right and that reminds me of you know the heart chakra and um I, i'm just picking up on quite a lot of wounding in this group again this can be could be from a past life could be from childhood could be from a past relationship could be from a friendship it could be from anything just some sort of a loss um, and there's just a need to address that right now, but just be patient with yourself. Um, please reach out to someone if you need to. Feel free to reach out to me or feel free to reach out 
um, to whoever you feel you can, you know, confide in. Um, and just know you don't need to go through certain things on your own. There, there is assistance there. There is help. Um, yeah. So on my channel, I have a distant Reiki heart healing that might be very beneficial if you have been having you know these particular issues feel free to watch that on my channel um i do also offer distant reiki healing um sessions so feel free to contact for that but anyway guys i'm gonna leave your reading here please don't lose hope and just you know keep moving forward and know that things will get better okay um please like share and subscribe remember to turn the bell on to be notified every time i upload if you would like to leave me a donation or if you would like any of my services such as tarot reading, distant reiki healing or intuitive life coaching feel free to contact via my email or social medias. I will link them down below in the comment section and the description box. Have a beautiful, lovely, blessed day guys. Bye bye. Okay, so this is a group two. So your spirit animal is, this is some sort of sea creature and I have no idea how to pronounce it. You know, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. You can Google the name of it. Um, it's a sea creature at least. Um, then you have the camel and then you have the bat. So pay attention to when you see these animals, um, know that they are your signs, know that they are there with you, protecting you, guiding you, or to give you a message. You may see these um, animals in dreams, uh, images, seeing them in waking life, like it can come through any way. Just pay attention to the signs. So with this card, so first off what I'm picking up on, there's blue energy. So I'm picking up on the throat chakra. So, um, some of you, some of you I'm actually hearing is you've actually healed your throat chakra and because you've healed your throat chakra, your communication is becoming a lot more better. Um, and you might start to notice things are coming through for you, like downloads and, um, imagery and seeing things and knowing things and just being able to speak from the heart and not having difficulty with it. However, for others of you that don't align with that there will be a need to work on your throat chakra and through working on your throat chakra it's going to open you up open up your communication i think for this group you also need to be aware is we're in a um, mercury retrograde at the moment um i think i'm not totally sure when we're out of mercury retrograde because you have mercury retrograde and then you have like the shadow period so if you have been having communication difficulties working on the throat chakra will help with any sort of communication issues you've been having probably more so during this time so you can listen to throat chakra healing frequencies on YouTube. You can do um, a chakra meditation on YouTube again. Um, anything like that will help. Humming, singing, chanting, all of that will help open up and release your throat chakra. So you're able to, you, you know, communicate and also breathe properly. So we have the ace of shells. So, um, so I'm picking up on two messages for this. First off, I'm picking up on, so the Ace of Shells is the Ace of Cups, right? I've just seen 1313 on the clock, so look up that angel number. Um, so this is all about, first off, self-love, right? In order to fully kind of embody the best life, first we must embody love, right? We must embody self-love. Now, a lot of people haven't, if, if they've grown up in difficulties, if they've grown up from, you know, a background where they've experienced a lot of loss or trauma, they don't necessarily know how to love themselves. You know, in schools they don't teach you it. Some parents, you know, aren't equipped with knowing how to either and we all grow up in different circumstances. So I feel like for this group, depending on where you are, I feel like there is a strong need to work on your self-love and identify what does love mean, what does self-love mean to you and how can you incorporate it into your life daily? How can you listen to yourself? How can you listen to your voice? Um, and, and how can you nurture your soul? How can you kind of be the best person you want to be? How can you incorporate, self-love is just so key. <laughs> um, and for some of you, if you, you know, for some of you, you might have been put down, yeah, you might have been told you weren't lovable or you might have thought you wasn't lovable. Just because things have ended in your life or people or situations haven't treated you properly, that does not mean you are not lovable. That does not mean you are good enough. But unfortunately, sometimes we go into our um, kind of 
all these things that happen to us in our life can then go into our can program our subconscious mind so then we have a built-in limiting belief that we are not good enough or we do not deserve love right and then via the law of attraction we then keep manifesting situations that then repeat back that limiting belief to you although that is not true right you then basically subconsciously keep attracting it until you break that chain so by working on self-love if you have been coming into situations where it's basically been triggering you and making you feel certain things um you can break that chain of events you can break that cycle you can stop attracting those kind of people or situations by working on your self-love um again if you would like tips on this or tricks on this um just put it down in the comment section and i will do a uh, vlog on it or like a teaching video on it again i am also writing a self-love book that will be published oh, it's either going to be the end of the year or next year i'm not totally sure yet um but yeah stay tuned for that what i'm also hearing for some of you guys open up your heart and a new love will come in again that isn't a message for all of you um because it, it kind of depends where you are on your journey if you're really closed off kind of the right connections aren't going to come in if, if you're closed off like you're going to block yourself um but for for some of you in this group i'm hearing open your heart and allow new love to come in one allow self-love to allow love to come in um and don't be afraid of the past repeating um because sometimes obviously if we think oh well, this is going to happen that's going to happen that's not going to go well it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy you make it so um, so just be mindful of your thoughts guys just be mindful of your words and what you're saying to yourself um, also what I'm hearing is you might be really sensitive to your surroundings at the moment um, so like for some of you you might actually be having pain in your heart chakra um, obviously if it's if it's an acute pain please go get it checked out by a doctor um, but if it's just like a weird kind of ache uh not shooting pain just a weird ache again that's an indication of uh, working with the throat uh sorry heart chakra and healing it so then we have um oh my god here so we have the chakra colors right so we have the root um the sacral the solar and the heart chakra so you have like some of the lower um chakras and some of the higher chakras so again doing a chakra cleanse for this group would be really beneficial um and then what you might find after that chakra cleanse like if you drink some water you might find you just feel a lot more freer and a lot more better within yourself um so it says a time for travel spirituality emotional and physical so for this group you are you're on a journey for some of you you're on a journey of self-love for some of you you're on a journey of healing for some of you you're on a, on a journey to go towards love so then we have the bat pay attention to when the next full moon is because something really significant could happen around that time again i'm also picking up on orbs in the image um, so you might see like flashing lights, stuff like that, or you might pick up on other kind of um, energies around you. Um, so it says, bat, see through illusions into truth. And then um, this is the archangel that you can work with also. So under the light of the full moon, things will become illuminated. You're going to be able to see things a lot more clearly. But I feel like for this group, you have to think of a bat, yeah? A bat hangs itself by its feet from like the ceiling right and um and they're nocturnal creatures and when it wants to fly it opens up its wings so it can fly so i feel like for this group the illusions that you're you're not seeing things clearly right now and you kind of have to open your wings like a bat does and through opening your wings like a bat does you're going to be able to see the truth um of situations and gain the clarity um i'm also i'm picking up Pay attention to your surroundings, um, you know, how sensitive you're feeling in certain situations. Like when you go to a particular place, when you're surrounded by certain people, how are you feeling within your body? Because your body will tell you certain indications of what's right and what is not right. Um, also, I'm picking up on telepathy. So some of you um, may be quite telepathic, be able to uh, tune in to other people's thoughts um, and feelings. For some of you also, if you uh, identify with the label empath, 
um, just please make sure you're protecting and grounding yourself and clearing your energy. Again, you can do that through um, a body chakra cleanse. And then I just keep hearing, um, your intuition is very key at the moment and it's going to be very heightened, so please listen to yourself. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave it there. Please like, share and subscribe. Um, remember to turn the bell on to be notified every time I upload. If you'd like to leave me a donation or would like any of my other services, such as um, tarot readings, distant Reiki healing or intuitive life coaching, feel free to contact via my email or social medias. I will link it down below in the comment section and the description box. Have a beautiful, lovely day guys. Bye bye. So this is a group of three. So your spirit animals are the hummingbird, the it's either a tortoise or a turtle, the one that goes in water. That's a turtle, isn't it? Yeah, turtle, and then a cat. <laughs> First off, what I'm picking up for you guys, with the cat energy, it's feline energy, right? So it reminds me of um the Lumeria, right? And it reminds me of Sirius and it reminds me of Egypt. So you might be drawn to those kind of um, starseed lineage and um, Egyptian mythology and all of that. There might be stuff within that, particularly within the teachings that may be able to help you at this time. So if you feel called to study Egyptian mythology or even just to look into it, there could be kind of some kind of hidden knowledge you can gain through that to do with your life and yourself. Um, also, so for the first card, we have six of branches. So we have, <laughs> we have a hummingbird. So for some of you, you might like to sing. Um, and I'm also hearing for this group, there's nothing wrong with standing out and there's nothing wrong with, with being yourself and, and speaking your truth. Um, and, and again, it's just singing. I'm just picking up on singing. Sing, even if, even if you can't sing, even if you're tone deaf and you're at home, just sing and be free and dance and laugh and and as you tap into that energy it's like you're going to awaken this magic within you and you're just going to become like a lot more free and happier within yourself um i'm also picking up on like with the flowers flowers energy flower energy so working with essential oils batch flower remedies working with natural herbs and foods would be really good for this group um so i see you kind of coming into a time of um, celebration and victory and feeling accomplished um, and feeling kind of proud of yourself so for this group I feel like for some of you might actually win something but for others of you it's going to be some sort of recognition and it will be recognition for something that you are grateful for for something that you are proud of for something that you might have been doing for a long time and now after all this time you're getting recognition again this could be to do with the arts this could be to do with acting singing artwork some sort of side hobby, something that like lights up your soul. Um, and also with the hummingbird, the hummingbird is incredibly protective and healing. Um, you might find watching videos of the hummingbird uh, very, very healing and just listening to the songs of the hummingbird, you might find that very healing as well. Yes, yeah, so then we have Cosmic Order ask the universe to provide. Um, I'm also getting the number six. So you could be life path six. Uh, something could happen on the sixth or the sixth month of the year. That's next month, isn't it? Yeah, June, June. <laughs> I think that's the sixth, I don't know. Um, yeah, cosmic order, ask the universe to provide. So right now, <laughs> This group, this group, you're in like an auspicious time. You're in a very um, synchronistic um, time. It's it's quite beautiful energy, really. So what you want, just ask for and allow for it to show up for you. I feel like for this group, um, you're probably quite um, mm, like quite further on within your career or further on within your your yourself and your self knowledge and your healing. For this group, I think you're probably quite healed. Um, or you've done a lot of internal work on yourself to get to where you are in life and you know well done for that and because you've done this this work or because you've you know helped those people or, or done whatever it is you're equating good karma um, and it's coming back to you and it's being repaid to you um, so with the last card we have the cat 
So you might start to see um, cats. I feel like cats might actually come up to this group. You might, like they might actually come up to you when you're walking and stuff like that. Um, so first off, I'm picking up on DNA because of this. It, can't, it, so it reminds me of the infinity symbol, but it also reminds me of DNA. So um, you might start to meet people that have a similar DNA and lineage to you people that are a part of your kind of tribe, your, you know, people that you're going to end up seeing as family, soulmates and um, kindred spirits and, and people like that. Um, I'm also with the sun energy, I'm picking up on Ra. So you can look up Ra, he's um, an Egyptian god um, and, and he is represented by the sun and the sun also represents the solar chakra um, within the body, which is where our, you know, self-esteem is um, and confidence and all of that but I feel like for this group you're probably quite confident anyway um, I'm working with a red ruby so the crystal red ruby or looking at images of the red ruby will be very protective and it will kind of just heighten you it will heighten your confidence I'm hearing so it says be relaxed and independent so while you're going through all these changes, while you're going through all this success is what it looks like make sure you're taking time for yourself make sure you're um, uh, meditate I'm meditating but meditate meditation is different for everyone right meditate in whatever way you deem fit so you could meditate through just painting a picture you could meditate through going on a nature walk um you could meditate by kind of just quieting your mind and focusing on your breath and through doing that you're going to open a lot more things up for yourself um because your mind's going to be freer so that way you're going to be able to download um new inspired thoughts and actions and then create new things within your life. Um, so I'm also hearing for this group, um, you already know I'm hearing, you already know this group, you already know something, so follow your truth and follow your heart. Do what you think is right. And when, when you follow what you think is right for yourself, it ends up being right for kind of everyone, as long as you follow your, your higher self, your higher calling, your, your intuition, you're going to be on the right path, you're going to be doing what's in alignment to yourself and to yourself. Um, yeah, this is a really beautiful group guys, like well done, I just want to say well done, um, and you know, you deserve such a pat on the back, you've come such a long way and I'm so proud of you. Um, for everything you've accomplished and you've achieved and just keep going forward and yeah ask for what you want and know that you're going to receive it <laughs> um, also I'm picking up on so I don't know if I said the green energy so working with the colour green wearing the colour green is your colour it's going to be your power colour um, particularly over the next month anyway guys please like share and subscribe um, remember to turn the bell on to be notified every time I upload um, if you would like to send me a donation or if you would like any of my other services such as tarot readings, distant Reiki healing or intuitive life coaching, feel free to contact via my email or social medias. I will link it all down below in the comment section and the description box. Have a lovely, blessed day guys. Bye bye.